Hey everybody, um, this, this is a video recording version of just the overview for the U.S. government and politics class <clears throat> for Mr. Everhart. This is going to be for trimester one of 2020-2021. Um, so this class, um, this trimester, government politics, this is the required senior year uh, social studies um, government politics course, and we're going to be really discussing all kinds of different uh, topics and issues this year. Um, the goal for the course in general is for you to have a better understanding of not only how the, the, the U.S. government works um, in, the, in the society that you are a part of, that you live in, um, how this big, gigantic institution functions um, and where you fit in it, um, but also to kind of give you a better understanding of um, how politics in the United States works, um, what the direction has been over the last 50 or 60 years, but more importantly, kind of what are the different beliefs that people have um, depending on their political position? Um, what, are the, what are the different political parties and how do they operate and um, how do elections work? You know, obviously we're in the, the fall here of 2020, very important election coming up this uh, in just a couple months. Um, so we'll be delving into all these different topics um, and going into detail um, about a lot of these different things. Um, I'm Mr. Everhart. I'll be your teacher for first trimester here. Um, so what is class going to look like, especially here in Tri-1 <clears throat> during this you know uh, strange distance learning time period during our uh, pandemic here? Well, on Mondays, you're go it's going to be an asynchronous day. And what this means, asynchronous means that we're not in sync. That means that we're not going to be all together um, online at the same time. So um, the Mondays are really kind of your day to work on assignments for your classes, to uh, maybe catch up on things you're missing or behind on, uh, maybe for you to have extra time to um, do a reading or to complete a project or um, work together with a classmate on something. Um, this is going to be a flexible schedule, right? So you'll be able to kind of do um, whatever work you need to do at your own pace, at your own time. You don't have to join you know, a lecture or a class at any specific time on Mondays. Tuesdays through Fridays are going to be synchronous, and that is we are going to follow our normal bell schedule that we, you know, as if we were going to be here at Champlain Park, um, and you will be expected to be on uh, online uh, on your Google Meet sessions with your various classes throughout the course of the day. Um, so that means you'll need to be on time, and, the, and that attendance is going to be taken on those Tuesday through Friday days. Um, so what does that look like? Well, you should um, have your Chromebook or whatever device you're using to connect with Google Meet and to connect with your classes ready to go. Um, uh, ideally, I think having headphones will help. Um, that'll just make the audio, uh, both in terms of what you're hearing and uh, the microphone and what you're saying, sharing with the rest of the class, just make that better. And make sure that whatever your device is uh, that you're using is plugged in or has enough charge to last for the whole school day. Um, in terms of how I'm taking attendance, it's going to be kind of a combination. There's um, there's a little program on Google Meet that I have that will track uh, who connects with that Google Meet session, when they log on, all that stuff. Um, so I'll be able to check that way. Um, but I'm also going to be partially checking your attendance through your participation in the various Google Classroom um, activities that I post on there. So regular question of the day, uh, some sort of uh, group activities that we do, discussions we have, things like that. Um, finally, be sure to check your email often. Email is going to be the main way that we communicate throughout this distance learning and hybrid learning kind of situation. If you're not in the habit of checking your email every day already, you got to start that um, at least once or twice, but preferably, you know, multiple times a day to check for announcements and assignments from your teachers, communications from counselors, and even communicating with this is a great way to communicate with your classmates and friends as well. Um, so like I mentioned, being on time uh, for on those Google Meet sessions for each class is going to be really important. When you log on or when you join those Google Meet sessions, be sure that uh, if possible, have your video on and make sure that you mute your audio when you join. Um, before you join sessions, you can toggle those on and off and we'll take a look at maybe what that looks like here in the first week. But um, generally, the default should be that you should have your audio muted. Now, I do want us to talk to each other a bunch in the class and we'll try to provide some discussion opportunities to talk with each other as much as I can. Um, but, you know, I'm sure you all have seen the examples of this. When a lot of people have their mics on, it can become very uh, chaotic <laughs> very quickly. <clears throat> and in terms of having your video on, I do encourage you to have it on as much as possible. Um, 
Obviously, there might be some circumstances where that might not be um, feasible or, 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 or possible, um, but I do want us to be engaged with each other as much as possible, and the best way to do that is to, for us to see each other. Um, following directions on the intro slide, I will be throwing up like an introduction kind of slide to start every day that will tell, tell you what we're doing for that day. So it'll have the learning goal on there, a general kind of agenda for the day, some reminders of what we're up to um, as you log on to the Google Meet session. I'm also going to be posting a question. Oops, let's go back a couple slides. Um, there we go. Um, I'll also be posting a regular question of the day on Google Classroom, which again is going to be kind of a way to start engaging with the class, but also partially a way of me taking attendance. So be sure the first thing you should do is uh, when you join the class, hop on Classroom and go ahead and answer that question of the day. Sometimes the question is going to be kind of silly or fun. Um, sometimes it's going to be a little bit more serious and related to what we're doing in class, um, but I'll always try to keep it, I don't know, fun or like interesting or, you know, to get your brain going. Um, so most of our in-person time, we are not going to spend all 60 minutes of class each, each period, each day with us talking to each other on the, on, you know, on the video. That would be exhausting for you and it would also be exhausting for me. So generally the plan is that we're going to have the first 15 to 20 minutes of class um, and maybe a little bit more some days, maybe a little bit less some other days, um, where we will be synchronous on video talking to each other. Um, typically that will be me. Uh, that'll be us discussing questions or me checking in with students of how things are going. Uh, if you have questions for me that you think the class would benefit from hearing, that would be a good time to ask those. It'll be time for us to share things with each other, um, whether those are, um, you know, kind of get to know me kinds of activities in the first week or later, you know, be, maybe more discussions about what's going on politically or um, things like that. Uh, and then finally, there'll be instructions and directions and new information or sometimes a, like a lecture or some content um, from me to you. The rest of the period, so most of the rest of the period, this 40 to you know, whatever minutes of left of class, typically that will be time for you to work independently on whatever the task or assignment is for that day. Um, what is grading going to look like in this class? Um, the majority of your grade in this class is going to come from uh, what we teachers call these summative assessments. These are basically tests, exams, and projects. Um, so these are going to be the kind of the little bigger assignments that in which you can show that you really understand the material that we that we were learning about here. Um, so that kind of sounds a little scary. 75% of your grade is tests and projects and stuff. Um, but hey, my goal is to make sure that you know that everything you know leading up to that, so that you're not coming into a test blind. Um, on that note, in order to take those tests or to do those exams or projects, you need to make sure that you have completed all of the required homework or classwork that leads up to that thing. So, um, and that's where the homework or classwork comes in. The other 25% of your grade is gonna be these ungraded checks for understanding. I'll just give you completion points for. There might be some of the daily work that we do, like you know, responding to um, maybe a survey or uh, we're gonna do some assignments about um, you know what types of government we have and who your representatives are, maybe responses or reflections to news articles I have you read. All those kinds of things fall into that homework bucket. Here's a breakdown of the percentages for your grades at the end of the trimester. <clears throat> and note that this course is required for graduation. In order to graduate, you need a certain amount of government and civics credit. And this is a really important class for earning that required credit. So. Um, you know, it's going to be my job to help you uh, to get through this class as, as best we can and to learn a lot and, uh, you know, have fun with it. <laughs> Hopefully you find it interesting, um, but keep this in mind as well. Um, academic misrepresentation. This is things like cheating and plagiarizing. Obviously, don't do this. Um, <laughs> any kind of uh, copied or plagiarized work will result in a zero for all of the uh, points for that assignment, um, whether that's an individual assignment or a group uh, assignment. Um, the cool thing for me as a teacher is there's all kinds of useful tools these days to help me figure out if you're cheating. So it's really easy for me to maybe, you know, copy paste a section of what you wrote or turned in and for me to just, just Google it and see if it's co copied from somewhere else. Um, Google Classroom has some tools built in directly for us teachers now that will automatically check whether things are plagiarized. So please don't do this. Now, if you have questions or concerns about this, like you want to quote something or there's a definition that you want to use, that's great. You should totally do that. Um, 
just uh, you know make sure that you are if you are copying or quoting something be sure to you know tell me where you're quoting that from or to attribute the source um, in, a, in, in, a, in an answer or even better to paraphrase it or phrase it into your own words finally of course classroom like I mentioned a couple times it's going to be critical going to be really key to uh, um, really everything we do in this trimester in this class. It's where all of the daily work and to-do stuff is going to be. It's going to be where I post all your assignments, all your graded assignments, readings, news articles. Um, you can see, you can go there to check a calendar to see what kinds of assignments and to-do list things you have coming up. Um, and there's also, of course, a link to our Google Meet uh, session there. So that's kind of an overview of what the class is going to look like this trimester. Um, Hopefully we'll see you soon face-to-face uh, -face on the Google Meet sessions uh, if you weren't able to attend today. Otherwise, have a good day.